Hello everyone, I'm Avantika Kamli and today I am going to be showing you how to make a keyboard by using Arduino. So how this works is that when you push the button assigned to a specific note, then that note will be played out of the buzzer so you can hear it. It works exactly like a keyboard so I hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. Alright guys, so after you've taken all of your components, you want to take your breadboard and your buzzer and you want to connect the long terminal of the buzzer which is the positive to the right hand side of the breadboard and the negative terminal on the left. Let's do that. After you are done, you want to take your four push buttons and you want to connect them like one, two, three, four, leaving a two row gap between each push button. Let's do that. All done. Now... You want to connect the positive terminal of your buzzer to pin number 8 of the Arduino board and the negative to the negative of breadboard. Let's do that. After you're done with that, you want to connect all of the right hand side pins of the push buttons together. Then you will connect any right hand side pin of any push button to the A0 pin of Arduino. After that, you will connect any one push button's left hand side pin to the positive of breadboard let's do that now you will take a 330 ohm register and connect it to the left hand side of your second push button and connect the other end to the positive of breadboard let's do that then you will take two 10 kilo ohm registers you will connect one to the left hand side pin of this push button and the other end will go to the positive of breadboard the other 10 kilo ohm register will go to the right hand side of this first push button and that will go to the negative of breadboard. Finally, you will take a 1 mega ohm register and connect it to the negative of the last push button and connect the other end to the positive of breadboard. Now for this project to actually work, you have to connect the positive side of the breadboard to the 5 volt pin of Arduino and the ground of breadboard which is the negative you will connect it to the GND which is ground of the Arduino. 5 volt pin is here and so is the ground. Let's do that. Alright guys now we are all done with the connections. I am so excited to see if this actually works but first we are gonna code it. Let's do that. Alright you guys, it is done coding and I have attached the battery to it. I am so excited to see if this works. If you are excited to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you never miss ever a video when I post it. If you are watching this on Instagram, make sure to follow and share this video with all your friends so they can watch it too. Alright guys, now let's see if this really works. I'm just going to play random tunes and we're going to see. Oh my god. This is actually so cool. I am so impressed. Try this at home and see if you can make a whole keyboard. Even more than I have made. And comment down below. Whichever comment gets the most likes, I will pin it. This is actually so cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!